My name is Kevin Wallace. I'm a senior technical instructor with Skillsoft, a uh, Cisco learning partner, and I teach uh, Cisco courses full-time online so students don't have to actually fly out and attend classes. And also, I spend a good bit of time writing books for Cisco Press. I've written about uh, 12, 14 titles or so, including a couple titles we're going to be talking about today dealing with the new T-shoot exam. Well, both of uh, both of my new releases target the T-shoot exam. That's exam 642-832. So it's really targeted towards CCNP candidates. There are three exams that a CCNP candidate would take, route, switch, and T-shoot. And probably T-shoot, that's going to be the final exam in that track. And that's why my books target. Well, with uh, troubleshooting, it's kind of a unique topic. It relies a lot on experience, a lot on intuition, and it's hard to troubleshoot something if you don't know how it's supposed to work in the first place. So both of my products, both the video product and the uh, official certification guide book, they, before just throwing someone into a troubleshooting scenario, they teach them the fundamentals. So instead of uh, just troubleshooting a BGP issue right out of the gate, we review the fundamentals. Then we give them a series of trouble tickets where they can get some hands-on and theoretical practice. We challenge them to come up with the answer. And I would say thirdly is really the video component of the CERT kit. If uh, students are visual learners like I am, they could benefit from over seven hours of videos where I'm going through and we're resolving 12 separate trouble tickets in that video product. Well, I would say it would be for, for intermediate users because troubleshooting, it's really an art and a science. We have to rely on experience that we've had in the past. We've had to rely on intuition numerous times. And you have to rely on your fundamental understanding of the basic concepts. You have to know how something looks and should work properly before moving forward. So I would say it would be at the intermediate level to the advanced level. Well, I would say the unique thing about my book really stems from the unique thing about the exam. This is unlike any other Cisco exam I've ever experienced. Cisco has publicly announced that about 90 to 95% of the exam content is not your traditional multiple choice question. Rather, it's actively troubleshooting trouble ticket after trouble ticket after trouble ticket. So these products, this book and the video product, they're targeted towards that very unique exam structure. Well, I've got three fundamental tips that I like to give my T-Shoot students. And the first is leverage Cisco's documentation. Out on Cisco's website, there is an amazing demo exam, which really models what students are going to experience in the real exam. Take advantage of that. They give you the exact topology that you're going to see on the exam, so you don't have to relearn the topology when you go to the exam. You get to memorize it ahead of time. Secondly, I would say follow the path. If you're not communicating from device A to device B, what I recommend that learners do on the exam, ping, ping the next device, ping the next device, narrow down your troubleshooting focus and isolate your troubleshooting focus there. And thirdly, I call this strategy abort. Abort is a way that you go into a trouble ticket on the exam and you think you know what the answer is, but you're not quite sure. There's a button that says abort. You can click on abort and it stops that trouble ticket. It lets you go to another trouble ticket. And then just like you do in the real world, you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see what's different. Did the thing I think is messed up on trouble ticket A, is that different on trouble ticket B? If so, you probably found the issue. If they're not, if they're the same, then it's probably another issue. It's really real world because you get to compare what you're observing in a trouble ticket with a known good baseline. Well, really, the home base for all of my content is at oneexamamonth.com. I have a series of free videos. I usually publish a free video about once every week, so oneexamamonth.com. Readers can find me on Twitter at uh, kwallacecie. Also, kwallacecie is my YouTube channel. On iTunes, they can just search for Kevin Wallace. Or if they're on Facebook, 
if they want to fan the Kevin Wallace Networking Facebook fan page, they can get announcements about all my videos as well. And also have a blog for Network World, and that's called the uh, Cisco Cert Prep Blog, and that's at networkworld.com. Well, I sure want to thank you for spending some time with me learning a little bit more about the T-Shoot exam and the Cisco Press titles that I've authored. And I wish you the best in your real-world deployments as well as your certification pursuits.